Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we factor 8 raised to power hex out. That is, we have 8 raised to power hex into brackets. Here we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 left and equals to 80 on this side. That is, next step we have 8 raised to power hex times 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3. Then equals to 80 on this side. The next step here, we divide both sides by 3. That is, divide this side by 3. Also, divide this side by 3. That is, here, 3 cancelled each other. Now we are left with 8 raised to power hex. Then equals to 80 over 3 here. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. At this here we have log 8 raised to power hex over log 80 over 3 here. Then here we apply the power law of logarithm. Now we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m. That is here, all we have becomes x log 8 equals to log 80 over 3. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies here, log 8 cancelled each other. We have x left, which is equals to log 80 over 3 divided by log 8. Then from here, this follows the law of logarithm where we have log a over b. This same thing as log a minus log b. That is what we have here becomes x equals to log 80 minus log 3 over log 8 then from here we separate this into two fractions as we have x equals to log 80 over log 8 minus log 3 over log 8 then from here we can write 80 as 8 times 10, which implies what we have here becomes x equals to log 8 times 10 over log 8 and minus log 3 over log 8. The next step here, this follows from the law of logarithm as well. When we have log 8 times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 minus log 3 over log 8. Then, Next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 minus log 3 over log 8. This from here, we have log 8 cancelled each other. And we have one left. That is x now equals to 1 plus log 10 over log 8 minus log 3 over log 8. That is next step here. We can also express 10 as 2 times 5, which implies we have x equals to 1 plus log 
2 times 5 over log 8 minus log 3 over log 8. Then, here we apply the law of logarithm. The one we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 8 and minus log 3 over log 8. Then from here, we also separate this into two fractions. And we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8 minus log 3 over log 8. That is, from here, you can write 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 raised to the power 3. And what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 raised to the power 3 plus log 5 over also log 2 raised to the power 3 minus log 3 over log 2 raised to the power 3. Then here we apply the power law of logarithm and 3 comes here also here then from here and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2 the minus log 3 over 3 log 2 this here log 2 cancel each other we have 1 over 3 left that is x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3 then plus here we can express as 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2 minus also 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2 that is from here we have x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3. We can write this as 1 over 1 over 3, which is equals to 4 over 3. That is, we have 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2. Then minus also 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2. Then, next step here, we apply change of base from where we have log A over log B. This is same thing as log A to base B. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 base 2 minus 1 over 3 log 3 base 2 that is here we also bring this together as one fraction and we have x equals to sm here that's 3 this becomes 4 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 that is the value of x here we have x equals to 4 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 3. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 4 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 3. That is, what we have here becomes 8 raised to the power 4 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 3 then plus 
also it's raised to power 4 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 3 also plus 8 raised to power 4 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 then is it equals to 80 on this side then from here we have same thing added together three times when we have a plus a plus a this same thing as three times a at this here we can write it as three times it raised to power four plus log five is two minus log three base two all over three then is it equals to 80 on this side then from here we can write it as 2 raised to power 3 that is we have 3 times 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 4 plus log 5 raised 2 minus log 3 raised 2 all over 3 is it equals to 80 on this side then here this power multiplies 3 here cancel each other I left it 3 times 2 raised to power 4 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 is it equals to 80 on this side and here we follow the law of indices and what we have becomes 3 times 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 then over 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 is it equals to 80 on this side? At this here we have 3 times 2 raised to the power 4 to multiply itself 4 times that is 16 then times. Here follows from the log log when we have a raised to the power log b to base a which is equals to b. At this here this same thing as 5 then over here we have 3. Is it equals to 80 on this side? Then here, these three cancelled each other, and we are left to 16 times 5. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And of course, 16 times 5 here gives us 80, which is equals to 80 here. But this left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 4 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video with a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now